um, is the MIDI at the moment um, is sent to come in from, uh, it's just from audio here, but if I had a clip in, in analog, you see at the moment what's happening is I'm hitting notes. I could actually, like, I should be able to, let's find out, draw a melody in here. I'm just picking a random melody, and then it's predetermined. I don't actually have to play the keyboard. It's automatically so when you press up. play it. So <laughs> like that, right? So we can select <laughs> all of that. And it's like all these notes. It's way too low. I can't sing very high. No, I can. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> 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 You plug the XLR lead into the interface, into the microphone section there, and then that's connecting to Ableton Live. Now you're going to create an audio track here. You're going to ensure that the sound is coming from one, which is straight into the interface. You're going to ensure that the monitor is on auto and then you're gonna make sure it's record enabled and then you have your microphone up and ready to go. Now if you want to chuck an effect onto the microphone, you go into audio effects, audio effects, then you go into whichever type of audio effect you'd like. We've picked a vocoder, so it's going, it's being attached to a microphone stand. Going on. Okay, the microphone should be on. I just need to create a MIDI track. Is it on? Get the keyboard on? Is it on? Yep. It's just not going out. Oh no. So I'm now going to test the microphone. One, two, one, two. Check, one, two, one, two. As you can see, it's slightly delayed. Wow. I sound like the devil. <laughs> Rah. <laughs> and that is, oh, we've just shifted on the effects to the right the top corner. And now my voice sounds like this. Now if you move it. <laughs> You can shuffle it to create a different sound, like one, two, one, two. It's a bit distorted now. And yes, that's a basic on how to create your vocoder effect on the microphone. Whee! Okay, so the interface we are using is plugged into a launchpad, as you can see, which is programmed through Ableton. And it is also connected to the computer itself in a different chord and then the third input is the green lead and that is connected to the PA system which is looking pretty dark from over here <laughs> which is obviously connected to power the keyboard is now attached <coughs> through a lead through to the computer, which is obviously attached to the interface. And now to create the keyboard and make sure sound is coming out of that, you're gonna go where it says hook. You're gonna ensure the MIDI is coming from, if I can click the mouse, is coming from Oxygen 61, as that is the keyboard. <laughs> so once you've clicked that, Ensure the monitor is on zero, on auto, sorry. And then you're gonna make sure it's record enabled. If it's not record enabled, you get no sound. And once you put record on, you'll get the effect. So as you can see, our Ableton set is up and running through Ableton Live. And we have a couple of MIDI cables. This and right here is going straight into the launch pad, which is launching the set. 
And over here we have a launch pad for the vocals going through the mic. So the blue is programmed for delay. And the purple set is programmed for reverb. We have a volume tab here and that is all being processed through the session tab. And that is what I will be using for the performance. I'll be adjusting the reverb and the delay and the volume when necessary. And this MIDI cable over here, as you can see I've got the mic, sorry, I have the mic on the stand, I also have a camera ready to film. And this second MIDI cable here that is going through, yep that's going through there. Then we have the interface and that is once again connected right through to our PA system down here. We have two speakers up and running connected and we obviously have the guitars, pedals, got tips on the bass. <laughs> when they're back in the room. <laughs> okay so the set went pretty well my setup was with the mic as you can see and the launch pad here now my task with the launch pad you can see oh can't. now I'm going through the mixer and the volume so if you click mixer and then you click the volume this is the volume tab I was working with the session tab and as you can see it's all the way up which means the volume is very high the other pedals I was working with was, um, I believe this one was the reverb, which is going through send A, which was purple, can't really see in the light, but that was purple, and that was majority of the time all the way up, because you wanted that ambient um, landscape sound and echo effect. And here was the delay, and the delay was majority of the time all the way up as well just to create um, more of an echo sound to ensure we were taking the audience into a dreamy type place. Like if you were over the mountains, and there was like a stream, you felt like you were at peace. So that created the ambient sound. I was also in charge of when the truck was playing through user one and user two. Here you can see as a example with the volume the volume would adjust it would go down when it was the next um, normally with the hook the volume would go down to just over midway so my task was to move that back up and ensure the kick was up as well just so we had a strong impact on the choruses and of course it automatically went to a medium level for the verses so the guitar players could play through. Um, overall it was successful in managing all of these elements except it was difficult at times where I was singing and the volume was readjusting and I had to manage them both at the same time. So some of the volumes would be a bit out of sync perhaps and that was because my stand could have been a little bit closer. I could have held the mic so I could easily move the MIDI. But that's the only thing I think I could have changed in this performance, but overall, happy with the team.